Fergus Hamilton was an ordinary eight-year-old boy. He liked football when his team won, fish fingers and chocolate cake, only not on the same plate, and his dog Chimp when he wasn't eating socks or chewing the stairs. He didn't like broccoli, but he ate it, or homework, but he did it, or the way his mum left lipstick on his cheek when she kissed him goodnight, but he didn't complain. I wasn't a massive reader or a creative writer as a, as a child. I, I, my sister was really into her books and I, I kind of, was, when I found an author or a type of book that I enjoyed, I just got absolutely stuck into it and that was the key thing, finding something that I enjoyed and that inspired me to pick up a book in the first place. Roald Dahl was really the, the, the author who kind of uh, really inspired me to, to read and, and hopefully, uh, hopefully Flying Ferragus series are going to be uh, inspiring some kids to, to not only read but to go out on their bikes afterwards. It's all about a wee boy called Fergus, nine years of age, gets a bike for his birthday, he's hoping for this Sullivan Swift, this brand new, all singing, all dancing bike, and he gets his dad's old hand-me-down when he was his age, and it's a bit rusty and a bit sad around the edges, and he's, he's not that happy about it, um, but his grandpa helps do it up for him and spray, respray it and uh, make it a lot better than it was initially. That's called the best birthday bike, so I hope, I hope you enjoy it. Well, thank you very much. I used to work here about... 16 years ago, I wouldn't answer the phone because I don't know what buttons to press. Didn't have a name for my first bike, no, but in, in, similar to Fergus, it was a, a second-hand bike. My parents bought it from a jumble sale for £5. Um, and it was my dad who, who did it up instead, as opposed to Fergus's grandpa. Um, it was my dad who put new grips and handlebars on it, resprayed it black, put BMX stickers on it, and that was, that was the start of it all for me. I was, I was six when I first got my bike, um, and I went out and I broke it in about a month or two months, I started doing jumps and as soon as I went to like, learn to ride a bike, I then learned to jump and uh, I snapped the frame and I think my parents realised that I needed to get something a bit stronger and a bit more su suitable for, uh, for purpose. Now that one, on the house. <laughs> Black Blackwells will pay for it, yeah. <laughs> yes, he was ordinary in almost every way, except for one. Because for a small boy, Fergus Hamilton had an extraordinarily big imagination. Some days he imagined he lived in an enormous underground lair with 57 bedrooms and a hover car and a butler to serve him lemonade whenever he wanted, instead of in the flat above his grandpa's junk shop on Napier Street. Mm -hmm.